This video will focus on defining the many different software licensing models that can be configured using License Spring. So let's get started. Perpetual licenses. Define a license that does not expire. The end user simply activates the license through their application and they can continue to use that application, provided that the software vendor does not revoke it. Time limited licenses. License checks and activations can be configured to work over specific time intervals. You can define a validity period or an expiry date as well as a start date for your license. Subscription licenses. Synchronize the license validity with the state of the subscription. The source of truth is the subscription service provider, such as a CRM or a recurring billing system like Stripe. Consumption licenses. Also known as usage metering, you can implement a pay-per-use model with this license type. This can be defined for almost anything, like number of logins, number of times a report has been generated, or number of minutes that a service has been used for. Trial licenses. Specify if a license is of type trial and set its validity period. You will be able to distinguish these licenses in your application to configure it in a trial or a demo mode. Features licensing. If your application is modular, you can define additional features at the product level and then add or remove different features for each license. These features can be of type activation or can also be metered and can have their own expiry date. Node locked licenses. The activation of a license will bind to this license to a device, which is recognized through a unique hardware ID. The license issuer sets the number of maximum activations or number of unique devices that can activate a given license. Floating licenses. Control the concurrent usage of your software by specifying the maximum number of simultaneous uses of a license. We offer cloud floating licenses where this enforcement mechanism occurs over the internet. For private networks, we provide a license server which is installed on the site of the end user. You can set the registration timeout and handle license borrowing with our solution. Offline license activation. Licenses can be activated on computers that do not have direct access to the internet. When the end user initiates the activation process in offline mode, they will generate a request file which needs to be uploaded to our offline portal and receive the license file. This file can only be used on the device that initiated the request file. Air gap licenses. Some end users have extremely stringent security requirements. Our air gap licenses allow for different license policies to be packaged with the binary which is distributed and activated through a series of codes rather than files. Now let's talk a little bit about authorization methods. Key based versus user based. You can configure products that are authorized using either a license key or a named user. Both of these authorization methods are node locked, however, user based licenses need to be assigned to the user and allow a software vendor to provide a login mechanism to their applications. SSO As part of the user based licenses, the software vendor can enable single sign on, where users can be assigned through Microsoft Active Directory, Google, or Amazon Cognito, for example. Many of these license configurations can be combined to define virtually any software licensing model. Contact us today to learn more, schedule a demo, or open a free trial account. 